they have, right. they have the golf courses, so, you know. And that golf course is uh, well known. I mean, it's not just some rinky dink golf course. Mm-hmm. That's a big time. I mean, you love golfing. I mean, there's, they do some of their tournaments there. I mean, the, the tournaments that go around, uh, I know they stop there. So, yes. Yeah. And talking about golfing, guys, don't remember, uh, don't forget that Shannon Hills Golf Course. Tony is the head of the pro shop over there. He and he teaches the the golfing, and uh, it's a fabulous place to be. It's a really fun place to be. They remodeled everything. The course is fun, and they're at 3880 Little Mountain Drive. That's 3380 Little Mountain Drive right here in San Bernardino. And their zip is 92405. And their phone number is 909-886-0669. And what they do have, and if you don't have your golf clubs, Mm -hmm. like Tony was saying, you can go down there and you can rent them out. That's good. Golf clubs, whew, they can get pricey sometimes. Yeah, thank. So that's pretty cool. You know, you get to borrow some because in learning, if he's going to do classes in learning to uh, golf, mm-hmm. you're going to find out right then and there whether or not you like it. So then you didn't go through all that money of buying some clubs. You know, that's it. That's pretty cool. I, I'm actually interested. I'd like to. I, I, I golfed in was it junior high, and uh-huh. that's the last time I ever golfed. So I'd like to get back into it though. We'll so talk maybe I'm going to stop by there. Yeah, I'll yeah. tell you when we're all going over there because it's really a lot of fun over there. Yeah. And talking about golfing and, and talking about little stories. I remember when I was younger, my brother and I, and my dad and my uncle, so it was a big thing to go golfing. Uh-huh. Now, this was a couple of centuries ago, okay? <laughs> and I think we're still writing with, uh, on the stone. The chisels and yeah, the stones. Yeah. yeah. Well, what they used to do, I kid you not, go back through some old photographs. They looked like a color wheel. They would have the plaid shorts on, the striped (laughs) shirts, you know, the colored socks, these big hats, and they thought they, but back then that was the style. That's the style, yeah. And I'll tell you, my brother and I used to roll with laughter watching them, (laughs) and they're all big guys. My dad was over six feet, and he weighed like 300 pounds. I mean, he was a big person. And seeing these colors on him, oh, my God, we used to laugh. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, it, it, it was it was a lot a lot of fun with that. And those those yeah those pants hugged the men. Yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah that's not great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And did you hear the story? The true story about how you got uh, the colored golf balls? No. How how did that okay. go? True story. You know how the golf balls are always white, right? All right. There was a guy back east, and he loved golf, and he wanted to play in the winter. Mm-hmm. So what he did is he went and he got some cans of spray paint. He got the yellow and the orange, and he divided up his golf balls, and he spray-painted them. <laughs> and then he could go out, and he could play in the snow because he, the knew golf, they were, yeah. they, they, he could find them. Right. So when the guys say they got colored balls, that's it. They, they get the can <laughs> of spray paint, and they spray their golf balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a golfing story, too, actually, yeah, a small one. Um, this is when I was in high school, and I came over to a friend's house. This is in Big Bear. Mm-hmm. I grew up there. Uh, and I'm going, I went up to my friend's house and find him in the backyard where it was one of these, it's a house, um, like a, a cul-de-sac on the top of a hill, but it, in the center of the road, there was three other houses, if, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. So it's like that. And, uh, he was in one of those center houses and he was sh- driving golf balls in between two of the houses from his backyard, it was like uh, you could just look out, kind of like a, a view, and see. And he's just lobbing it because they just went to forest after that. Uh huh. And and I go back there and I'm looking at him like, what are you doing? And he doesn't even look at me and he's like just driving golf balls. And he just hit a whack, whack. I'm like, you don't worry about hitting in one of those houses or windows. And he said, nope. And this right when he said no and hit that golf ball, it. I don't know what the word is, but it went to the right. It went right through a window of, no. of the neighbors. And he just looks at me and says, I guess I'm worried now. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and, and then, good thing he was a good guy, and he paid for that window. But but uh, that was one thing, just one of those moments where you think you're doing something smart and clever, and, uh-huh. and it backfires. But, well, yeah. talking about that and talking about being smart and clever, now since we're getting into the good season here, you mm-hmm. know, all the fun stuff that's going on, and if you happen to need a good haircut or a good color, you know, for all the ladies, all the guys, even the, the young people, go to Fantastic Sam's. 
Oh, really? The, oh, they are fabulous, fabulous. And last week we were talking to Maria, and she's a gal that works up in the store in Yucaipa on Yucaipa Boulevard, right there in the Bond Shopping mm-hmm. Center. And uh, I go to her all the time when I need it, and a lot of the guys go to her. And they really have some good uh, sale or specials going on for the holiday. So you want to get spruced up. Even tonight, if you want to get all spruced up before you go down to the Morongo, Mm -hmm. right? Go into Fantastic Sam's. They're all over the place. And the best part, you don't need an appointment. You can walk uh, in. Now, that seems to be unheard of for a haircut, especially for a girl. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and I'm going to tell you, it's, it's terrific, the things that they do. And remember, when you're getting ready for the Easter Bunny or just for springtime, yeah. and you want new items for your house, like sheets and the blankets and the towels and yeah. the dishes good idea. And, and tablecloths and all of this, you got to go to Anna's. Anna's, yeah. And it's A-N-N-A, apostrophe S. Linens, and uh, we're going to be talking to them again next week. And also, we have right now, since Christina unfortunately did not make it with us, hopefully, we'll have her next week. And we are going to be talking about the headdress ball right here and at the Orange Show. And it's going to be Saturday, April 20th, 2013. And what it is, it is the women's. Assistance League, and everything that this organization um, has been doing all of these years to help everybody that's in need. We absolutely love it. They're having the luncheon again, and yes, all of us ladies from the station will be at the luncheon, and then they have the dinner, and the theme of it this year is Route 66, Life's Highway. Wow. Yeah, and so we're going to get hopefully get, have a chance to talk to some of the models and some of the other people from this organization. And Christina hopefully will be with us next week. She was at another location, and apparently she just couldn't get away fast enough. But we missed you, Christina, and we'll talk to you soon. And remember, again tonight at the Morongo, and they are having a look back at the country grapes. And their names are Billy Bob and what? <laughs> it's uh, uh, Billy Erickson and Jerry Boone, a look back, a tribute to the country greats. Yeah, and the doors open up at 9 o'clock, and the band starts at 10.30. So make sure you get down there. And Steve Narango Jr. from Nightlife Productions will be accompanying us tonight. A lot of us from the station will be down there. And we're going to be doing some filming and hearing some real good old country. Ooh. And am I dressing country? Nope. No? Nope. You don't got some cowgirl boots? Uh, no, I... Or straw um, hats? I, I got a, uh, the hat, you yeah. know, and I got the vest and stuff. I don't know. I just may surprise yeah, people and dress it. country. You should, you should do it. Yeah. yeah. Go, yeah. You, yeah. I tell you, Bev, you are one of those girls that can just pull it off. Well, it thank you. It doesn't matter what the, the, the look is. If you dress for it, you got it. I well, can tell. You can tell, because you're always in here looking all flashy and... And nice. So. Well, thank you, yeah. Rob. What a compliment. You're welcome. <laughs> and we have, what, one minute? Oh, we got two minutes. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you know, and um, also talking about the Easter Bunny, start looking through your local uh, newspapers because they're always going to have a function somewhere where the Easter Bunny is here and the Easter egg hunts and all the good stuff. And when you're going to buy your baskets, and, uh, and the Easter grass and all of that. Guys, I'm telling you, go down to the 99 cent store, go down to the Dollar Tree. They really knocked the colors out of the ballpark this year. They have a little tiny miniature baby baskets for, for the little ones up to the big ones. They got the plastic, they got the nice wicker baskets that are absolutely fabulous. So go down there and get them. You know, everything's a dollar. You can't beat it, right? No way. Yeah. And if you're going to send your cards out normal way, like I do from the post office, mm-hmm. do it now. Yeah. You know, and then State of Brothers and Vons pretty soon are going to have the hams and the lamb and everything else. That's all coming all up on sale. And remember to go over to Fantastic Sam's, get your hairdo done. And, again, we want to thank Tony from Shannon Hills Golf uh, Course. We want to thank uh, Gail from Annan's Lennon. Christina will be with us next week. And Steve Narango Jr. will be with us tonight at the Marango. Yes. And uh, also, real quick, if you're looking for your dresses and suits, 
Ross Didi's. Go there. You're going to be happy, happy because they're knocking them prices out of the ballpark, guys. All right. I hope you enjoyed the show today. Rob, thanks for visiting with us today. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Be safe. Be happy. I'll talk to you next week. Same time, same station. And Dr. Bombay and the Blue Machine Band is walking us out. So have a fun night, guys. Bye. Thank God above. You know you set me free. I'm living in paradise. Yeah. NBC Radio News is KCAA News Talk 1050, the Inland Talk Express.